And uh, so my one of my New Year's resolutions is uh, I'm not going to the uh, not going to the gym at all in 2012. That's what that is. Well, I gotta be honest with you guys. What's in? I, I gotta be honest with you guys. I fucking hate the gym because it combines two of my my greatest weaknesses: uh, beautiful women and machines that can kill me. Uh, <laughs> I was there in the gym a couple months ago, and there's a beautiful woman, like just booking it on the treadmill. And I was like, I'm gonna impress this woman by getting on this other treadmill, right? You can see where this is going. Right? <laughs> and so I get on the treadmill, and I just bypass the whole, you know, like the one, two, kind of this shit, like a walk. Like I could be doing this in a damn parking lot. What the hell am I doing? And I just bypassed it, like by bypassed it to, from 10, like up to 11. I press that button. It's the Nigerian marathon runner button. You guys know that? <laughs> And I'm like seeing myself in the mirror, because that's when they, you know, put the mirror. And I'm like, I look like a fucking drug dealer. I look, good. I look really good. I'm gonna go do some blow after this or something. Right? So then, right when the song peaks on my i on my iPod, it was like ACD too. It was like uh, Thunderstruck. Like that's a great Thunderstruck. Like I'm seeing Thunderstruck. And then right when it peaks, uh, my ankle rolls. You ever have this? on the trip. So it was like a limp, like, retarded horse. And it was going so fast, and uh, eventually my, my legs just gave out, and it looked like, it looked like, you know, they went all limp, like being dragged behind a car or some shit. And like, you know, like, my, my feet were like dragging, and people were smelling like burnt rubber from my neck. Because if you die on a treadmill, they gotta close the gym down, right? I mean, and you're you would live in infamy. Like the, you have a guy, oh yeah, honey, I'm coming home early. Yeah, I'm not doing a workout. Yeah, they had to close the gym down. Some dumb hippie, he tried to press it. Get this, he looked like Willy Wonka. No way. I'm not gonna go back. Like, just, I, I think I just left because would I just stay on the treadmill and crank it back to one or two and be like, I'm way better on the Stairmaster. Just want you to know that. <laughs> and that was weird because she didn't, well, a couple things that was weird. She didn't, um, like, when she didn't stick around either. Which I get. You wouldn't want to be in, like, the accident report, like, uh, miss, and then what happened? Well, then he said this is just a warm up and he started saying Highway to Hell and then he went through that wall. today like there was in a coffee shop and this guy tripped like over like a ramp and like people do that and people just kind of do a small talk check like whoa watch that step it's a doozy <laughs> like that right she didn't even stick around to be like whoa are you are you mentally ill like or anything like that and look i think i was dragging those legs a long time at what point did she realize that this was not part of my exercise <laughs> And, uh, so she left, which is fine, because I mean, I mean, really, take it out to logical, like, if we were to get together, date, and then get married, 
<laughs> you, those of you that are married, you, your kids always ask, what did you and dad meet? And what did you think? <laughs> or Karen, what did you think when you first saw dad? She'd be like, well, you ever seen a Chris Farley sketch? That's essentially... <laughs> 